this is a complete blowout. I mean, even best case, this is beyond in terms of the iPhone number, the China growth, which is key to the stock moving forward. Remember, 60 to 70 million iPhones in a window of upper grade opportunity for China. And then you look at the margin profile. You put this all together. This is a stock. I think next step is 425, 450. We look out next three to six months into an iPhone 12 product cycle. You know, it just this is a Teflon like number. And now phase two comes for Apple in terms of iPhone 12. How about the four for one stock split, Mike Santoli? Sort of old school. A little bit old school. Uh, now, remember, <laughs> Apple did a seven for one um, several years ago, which many people thought it was because uh, they wanted to kind of wipe away the memory of the all time peak before that when Steve Jobs was still there. I, I do think one bit of context is is interesting about Apple's decision to do this at a time when Amazon and Alphabet are happy to have four digit share prices is that Apple's in the Dow. Dow is a price weighted index. Uh, Apple's about $100 more expensive than the next highest price stock in the Dow. I don't know if that has anything to do with why they would want uh, to necessarily not get out of whack with the other 29 stocks in the Dow. Or it could be the fact that all these brokers offering fractional shares uh, of ownership in, in any stock uh, meant that they felt like they might as well just do it themselves as opposed to have, you know, people going to Fidelity Brokerage and buying a sliver of a share uh, of Apple. All right, Ed Lee, just want to, oh, John Fort, sorry, we're going to go to John Fort now, who's got a little more color, John, in, into these Apple numbers, uh, which do appear, appear pretty strong. What they, stands out to you? They are extraordinarily strong, Sarah, and I would say for this reason, first of all, iPhone grew. Not a lot of people saw that coming, though I did kind of hint that that might uh, happen, something like the iPhone number being stronger based on the read-through from Qualcomm, but particularly on Mac and iPad, guys, this is like a holiday season number. This is a Q4, a calendar Q4 number that mm -hmm. Apple is turning in right now. So it'll be interesting to, to hear what Tim Cook has to say about that and how much of that is, is a pull forward of demand based on people needing devices at home to work from home to school from home versus how much of that is just a rethinking of how many devices people need in the home. You know, Josh and I were talking about this earlier. In the past, schools had been on a, a model of fractional usage. You had computer labs or at least iPad carts where each device was getting used by multiple kids. In this era, you're going to have less and less of that. You're going to have fewer kids in school. Those kids are going to need a device either sent to them from the school to use on their own or they're going to go out and get their own. And so that's a potential lift. Well, not just a potential lift. It's an actual lift we're seeing in these numbers for companies like Apple. Yeah, big